Let me put this on because I want I want to show you how ridiculous this looks. All right. So this is the Peter syndrome, and I ran into these memes uh, a couple years back, and it was floating around. And it's uh, one of them is where um, Peter's ready to serve God, he's ready to walk on water, but yet he has the floaty on. And I don't know if you can see this big float, but this is how ridiculous we look at times when we're thinking like, hey, I'm ready to serve God. I'm ready, God, I'm ready to go all out for you. But God knows really what's going on within you. He sees the floaty that you're attached to. And the Bible says that the righteous shall live by faith, not by the floaty and the security and plan B. The righteous shall live by faith. And so often when we're ready to, 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 to go serve God and we're ready to, 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 to give our all, we have a backup plan. Like that's really going to back us up for the kingdom of God. There's nothing that's going to back you up more than your faith in God. There's going to be obstacles that are going to make you push back. There's going to be obstacles that are going to make you take five or six steps back. But it's going to be your faith without the floaties. That's going to make you the conqueror you need to, that you need to be. And so David, he didn't measure his situation by Goliath. He measured his situation by the faith he had in his God. And so many giants are happening in the season of COVID. And so many giants are happening in the season of mental illness right now. That we are backing up. And we're trying to get back in the church, but we're still attached to the floaties. See, God wants us to serve him one way, and that's through Jesus. But we're trying to come to God through another way, and we can't have another way. There's only one mediator between us and God, and that is the man Christ Jesus. And so we got to be ready to take off the floaties. I'm ready to serve you, God. Okay, son. Okay, daughter. Take it off. Take it off. Look, look, look at how we may look in the spirit. I'm ready to serve you, God. Boom. Knocking over things. You're trying, to, you're trying to get a grip of things and you can't get a grip of your spiritual victories because you got the thing in your way that's holding you back. And you're not free because the weight of, of, of like the, the runner, the athlete, before the athlete gets into the race, he takes everything off that's going to hinder him. Yeah. Hebrews 12 or 11, right? He takes off everything that's weighty. This is no good because see, the runner knows, the athlete knows that if he keeps it on, it's going gonna, it's gonna to hurt his race. And the Bible, when the Bible talks about taking off everything that hinder us, it, the Bible's not saying take it off like this where, where you can go back and pick it up. The Bible's not saying, you know, put it close to you where you're in proximity so you can go back and pick it up. The Bible is saying cast it far from you so that way you have to work to get back to that place that you were once in. See, if you're going to work for anything, work for God. Don't work for the sin that so easily entangles us. Take it off. Don't put it so close to you where you can get back and pick it back up. The righteous shall live by faith.